Hi, I'm Trisha Fitzgerald with Heller Consulting. In this video, I'll show you how to assess your Razor's Edge database along with your operational goals and needs, and then I'll talk about how to put it all together into a plan for achieving database success. We call it an annual review, and it's a good idea to try to do this each year. The first step in an annual review is to determine what the important operational changes are going to be this year that will stem from changes to your organization's fundraising efforts. For example, is your organization trying a new type of event this year? Adding more donation options to your website? Or perhaps you will be kicking off a capital campaign or a major gifts initiative. Whatever these changes might be, it's a pretty safe bet that Razor's Edge coding, reports, and processes will be affected. We recommend making a list of these changes, interview your coworkers if necessary to get all the details, in an issues and goals workbook. During these talks, also ask your coworkers what their primary issues and goals are with Razor's Edge. Don't forget to include non-fundraising departments that may also interact with Razor's Edge, such as finance or communication. Next, run some reports from key areas of Razor's Edge to round out the picture and get a handle on the current state of the database. In our assessments, we focus on constituent codes, constituent attributes, campaigns, funds, and appeals. There are two free resources on our website, www.teamheller.com, that can help you through this step. One is called Getting to Know Your Razor's Edge Data. This document walks you through the extraction of the essential reports. Once you have the reports, turn to RE Coding Best Practices to help you envision how your database should look and to determine the areas for cleanup. By this point, you might have a pretty long and daunting list of issues and goals, but that is where the third step of the annual review comes in. For each item on your list, rate it according to two criteria, ease of implementation based on your in-house resources and priority. The combination of these two will point you in the right direction in your cleanup and preparation efforts. The easy, high priority and easy, medium priority items are probably going to be the first to take care of and that you probably have skills in-house to tackle. The easy high priority items especially are likely to be low-hanging fruit that will provide some quick wins for your team. Some examples of these might be setting up new campaigns and appeals for the new major gifts initiative or setting up dashboards for the development officers. The medium easy and medium priority items are likely to contain mid-level code cleanup needs that are messy but not critical or perhaps dusting off the events module to use it for the planned series of member receptions. You may have the skills to take care of these in-house, but not the time, or vice versa. The hard, high-priority items are the most likely to need assistance from outside your department, which could be other coworkers or some outside help to get them done. These are items that are important, but for some reason are probably beyond the capacity of your team. Some examples of these might be developing training materials for new users, or figuring out a moves management system, or restructuring your fund codes. The hard, low priority items can probably be put on hold or addressed slowly during slow times or perhaps with volunteer or intern help. These are likely to include areas of Razor's Edge that are more difficult to clean up, such as notepads, addressees and salutations, or phone types. The next step is to fit some easy, high-priority items from either column onto your calendar. You can do this with confidence now that you have a plan for tackling everything on your list. You can also refer back to this worksheet throughout the year to track your progress or make any changes. Thanks for watching this video. Please visit our website at www.teamheller.com for more information about our services and expertise.